Hey, whore hounds, and welcome to the channel of the bees. I'm your host, Vanilla Gorilla Bees. And it's that time once again, time for another whore update. And here's a quick overview of the whore that I picked up this last month. And with that out of the way, let's get this fucker rolling and on to the first thing, Blu-rays. First up is Freaks of Nature. What I've seen of this fucker so far is pretty good. Haven't finished watching this one yet because the beast has been fucking sick. But what I've seen of it is pretty fucking decent. The Last Witch Hunter starring Vin Diesel. It's an alright film. Not the greatest, but definitely not the worst. It definitely blew the fuck out of the cloth. They both had a lot of similarities, but this one's a hell of a lot better. I recommend giving it a watch. Now, I give it three nasty ass witch cadavers out of five. It was definitely entertaining with some action thrown in. The main witch was pretty fucking sick. Fear the Walking Dead, haven't watched this fucker yet. I hear a lot of good things about it, but I also hear some shit things about it. I'm just gonna have to set my fat ass down and give it a watch for myself. I just hope it ain't slow paced like two turtles fucking. Hangman, looks cool, but I don't really fucking know because I don't like found footage films. I don't like this fucking shit like paranormal activities. I wish this trend would flush out quicker than my bowels. Horn with Sir Harry Potter himself, looks decent, don't know much about it. A Lonely Place to Die. It's an IFC Midnight film, so the Beast had to pick this fucker up. I always dig the shit out of the IFC series. The X-Files, I want to believe. Yeah, I want to believe this is good. Because I'm not one of those that dug it when it first came out. I'm definitely not jumping on the bandwagon now. But I found this cheap as fuck, so I said, what the fuck? Maybe this might be good. But then again, like I said, I wasn't really big on the series. Intruders, found it cheap as fuck, so I said, what the fuck? I know it's not going to be as good as Intruder, but this still looked kind of cool. 247 Fahrenheit or some shit like that, man. I'm not good with this whole number shit. Why couldn't they just put a fucking name on it? The fucker star Scout Taylor Compton, however you say her fucking name, and Tyler Maine. Hopefully in this one, Scout doesn't fucking whine the whole time like she did in fucking Halloween 2. That girl got on my last fucking nerve in Halloween 2. I don't see how she gets movie roles after playing in that motherfucker. And last for the Blu-rays is Scary Movie 5. Not the best in the series. This part 2 is definitely the Beast favorite. This is definitely in the Beast top 3 for sure, so I definitely recommend giving this one a watch. So that's it for the Blu-rays, and on to the next thing, DVD. First up for the DVDs is Black Roses. Now the Beast has been on a rock and roll horror kick as of late, so I'm trying to pick up all the motherfuckers that I can find. Still haven't seen this yet, but can't wait to give this motherfucker a watch. Hell, this artwork has had me intrigued for years. I've been wanting to check this motherfucker out for a very long time. Now the Beast has Rock and Roll Nightmare and Intercessor. Another Rock and Roll Nightmare. I guess that word's fucking Intercessor, whatever the fuck that means. Hell, like I said, I'm trying to pick up all the Rock and Roll whores. And the Beast wishes he would have stayed fucking clear from Rock and Roll Nightmare. So I'm pretty sure if part one fucking blew ass, hell, part two is gonna stink worse than a dried up turd that's been stuck to the bottom of my shoe for months. Hell, part one's something that the Beast might have to review pretty soon. Nightmare Man, it's one of these eight films to die for. Hell, I needed this fucker to help finish my collection. Don't know much about it, but I found it cheap as fuck at the flea market. Hell, the rest of the films I got for a dollar a piece. So the beast couldn't say fucking no. Rain in Darkness, another one of these vampire bounty hunter films. Hell, I guess it's like Underworld, but with a fucking male as the lead. Wolves of Wall Street. Sounds like it's gonna be dumb as fuck, but that shit's usually right up the Beast Alley. And if it sucks, at least the Beast has another werewolf film in the collection. The Rig, another one of these creature feature films, and the Beast is trying to bulk up that section, so fuck yeah. Monster Island with Carmen Electra. If it shows her boobs, the film is fucking worth it. And if not, this film is probably gonna be garbage. Hey, but that's usually the shit I like. Brain of Blood, looks like a fucking cheesy ass classic. I need to set my fucking fat ass down and watch some of these fucking cheesy ass movies. Cause a fucking night of cheese is in the beast future. And last up for the update is Angus Valley Farms. Hell the beast found one hell of a gym right here. Hell from the looks of the artwork there's nothing appealing about this. It looks like a five year old made this in Paint Shop Pro. Hell from looking at it I can barely read it. I thought it said Anus Valley Farms. Hell, this is probably what this is. A big pile of shit that came out of my fucking anus. So that's it for this portion of the update, and on to the next thing. This month's shoutouts go out to Krabby O Fart, Felix Ilm, and Thunder X TV. If you're not subscribed to these cool ass YouTubers, make sure you subscribe to them. And don't forget to tell them that the beast sent you. This month's UV code giveaways are for 
Freaks of Nature, The Last Witch Hunter, Fear the Walking Dead. And to win one of these, all you have to do is be the first to comment down below in the description telling me which one of these you want and it's first come, first serve until they're gone. And that's all. The Beast just got his ass a new camera. Haven't had the time to fuck with it yet. But you know what this means? More content from The Beast will be coming soon. Yes, there is a new Angered Beast in the works. But The Beast has been sick. And my fat ass has been waiting on this. So I can finally record a lot of stuff on my own. So that's it for this update. You know what comes next. Keep it whore. If you've seen any of these movies, leave your thoughts down below in the description. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up, share it, and do all that other good stuff. If you haven't already subscribed to The Beast, then please do so. And with that being said, keep it whore.